Dr. Kevin Campbell here this morning. Uh, what's better for your, you, diet or, or water? Diet soda or, or water? That's the focus of a new study done by the Journal of Obesity recently. Dr. Campbell here to break it all down. Doc, good to see you. Good to see you, Phil. Before we get to the results, what exactly were they looking for? What they did is they took 300 patients and they divided them into two groups. One group had to continue diet soda as they were before. The other group could not have any diet soda. And they compared weight loss mm -hmm. over a 12-week period. And most of these people weighed in excess of 200 pounds. Right. They also kept journals of what they were eating and were uh, had nutrition counseling available in the two groups. When I was reading over this, the first thing that came to me was easily the group that drank the water probably lost more weight, but that's not the case, right? In this study, that's not the case. There's a couple of problems with this study when you look at it, how it was designed, but at any rate, the people who had water uh, lost nine pounds over 12 weeks. The people who continued with diet soda lost 13. Mm. But it's a small study. right? And it was sponsored by the American Beverage Association, ah. which advocates for soda drink makers. Okay. And I think that there's a lot that goes into that. And the 12-week time period, really hard to draw many conclusions over just three months. And this is a little bit different than previous studies that have done, been done before, right? Very much so. The previous studies, there's a great study out of Purdue University that was last year. And what it showed is that folks with diet soda actually had higher rates of cancer, mm. heart disease, and stroke, and tended to be more obese. What happens is your body gets used to the artificial sweeteners right. and it doesn't release the proper hormones when you get a real sugar load and so you put on weight. Right. We don't really know the entire mechanism of how it's related to cancers and other things, but bottom line is diet soda may not be the best choice. So water, you recommend water. You recommend uh, seltzer, right? Seltzer water as well. You like you like that. So I think we drink water, and I think that's very important. Men need three liters a day. Women two liters. That sounds like a lot. That's right. a that's a whole you know diet soda can uh, or bottle. And what I would say is, if you want to spruce it up, use something with bubbles. Seltzer water mm -hmm. has no calories, and you can put some fruit in it. Put in um, a strawberry, or put in a lime or a lemon or something like that, and it tastes nice. Sure. Also, uh, you, you can find a lot of other. Uh, um, things to put in there as well. You can uh, look, peach, like a peach iced tea flavoring. Absolutely, like absolutely. That. Just avoid any type of artificial sweeteners and things like that if you can. Um, in my house, we've avoided um, diet sodas for two years. Yeah. And, you know, you miss it a little bit, but eventually you get used to it. And I think it's healthier. Sounds good. Doc, always good to see you. Good All you have to you. do is log on to our website. If you have a question for Dr. Kevin Campbell, WNCN.com. From there, you can uh, links we mentioned. We'll get you on over to his website, his Facebook page, and his Twitter.